Hey guys, how are you doing? So, as promised, I'm back. This is the other steampunk tarot deck that I have that I've had with me for a while now. And this is the steampunk tarot Wisdom from the Gods of the Machine, created by John and Caitlin Matthews and illustrated by none other than Will Kingan. Uh, and this is again a lovely, lovely steampunk themed tarot deck. And I will be reviewing that in this video. So stay tuned. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Madhvi from tarotticallyspeaking.com, your tarot blogger, deck and book reviewer and maker of these awesome videos on YouTube. I'm also a tarot card reader and mentor and an author of this awesome book on tarot, which is available on Amazon, both paperback and Kindle all over the world. Now, all of these links and more are in the description. So do check that out. And at the end of this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more such awesome tarot videos. What is steampunk? Steampunk is uh, defined as a genre of science fiction that has historical setting and typically features a steam powered machinery rather than advanced technology. So imagine if you will a setting like, you know, Victorian times, and then you have all these different devices and gadgets and, you know, and machines that are maybe even decidedly modern in, you know, in their functionality, but they are run on steam power right so that is your steampunk uh wikipedia uh defines it in this way which is again very very interesting a retro futuristic subgenre of science fiction or science fantasy that incorporates technology and aesthetic designs inspired by 19th century industrial steam powered machinery all right so <laughs> that's a whole bunch of words there, but ultimately retro futuristic is something that really caught my attention. Retro is something from the past. Futuristic is obviously something in the future. So, you know, it combines those elements of the past and the future. And so it's usually those stories can be set in that time frame or you have stories that, you know, didn't you know, like like the time stops in that time line or whatever. And, you know, so if, if <laughs> these definitions are a little confusing, um, maybe you can, you know, I, I can give you some, tell you some movies. Uh, Mortal Engines is the most recent one that came out, uh, you know, that is a, a steampunk uh, movie. All right. Then there was something, some, this movie called The Golden Compass. Then we have Hugo, uh, Wild Wild West with Will Smith in it is pretty popular. Uh, what else? What else? What else? The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen is often called a pop, you know, a steampunk movie. Uh, if some of you have seen Sucker Punch, that often is also considered part of the steampunk genre. Then, uh, uh yeah, a, series of unfortunate events right uh i'm looking <laughs> the list that came up on google actually yeah you know these are some of the movies sky captain and the world of tomorrow right uh what else what else Twenty Thousand leagues under the sea yeah this i this is um this is even a book that i read you know as a child uh you know these are some of the movies <clears throat> that if if you look up, they fall under the uh, steampunk genre. If you are a reader, if you are someone who likes to read books, then there are a bunch of these. Uh, Bone Shaker by Sherry Priest. Uh, then you have Soulless by Gail Carriger. Uh, you have Perdido Street Station by China Mayville. Uh, then you have... Uh, the Difference Engine by William Gibson and Bruce Sterling. Model Engines, of course, is a book. You have Anubis Gates by Tim Powers. His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. 
uh you have you know there's a whole you know again you can totally google the steampunk books and you know you'll have a whole list of books and a whole list of movies of course if you'd search for that and you know so you you i mean what i'm trying to say is with these books or with these movies you can maybe get a feel for that genre so that is the genre that i am talking about here okay all right so now that you have an idea of what steampunk is all about let's have a look at this deck uh this deck came packed in this nice box it is a sturdy box i will give you that uh but of course i moved my cards out of it because i did hang on let's see ow <laughs> opening these boxes can sometimes be a thing isn't it okay so this is how this box opens up okay and the cards actually came in here divided into two parts and the book was on top of it okay so it's just plastic so i mean i'm glad i kept this box quiet show you but definitely i mean if you are that way inclined and if you don't find opening these kind of boxes <clears throat> difficult then sure you can uh, store your cards in the box that they came in it is definitely a very uh, strong durable box I will give you that but if you like me and if you want it a little bit more concise then I definitely put my cards in a bag and put my books together somewhere in a collection so <clears throat> that's what I did you can do differently it's totally your call it's the world of tarot man you can do whatever works for you anyway this is a very attractive box i will tell you that so you know nevertheless let's see let's take a look at the book that came with it now this book is again chock full of information and knowledge and oh this is the last page the last sort of back cover again there's a lot of stuff here oh how many pages how many pages okay this is about 160 pages, okay? But in, in these 160 pages, it covers a lot. Now, uh, a fair word of warning-ish sort of things. This deck assumes that you are familiar with the basics of tarot, or rather, I would say, any person wandering into this deck should have a, a, a decent grasp on say the right away deck uh, before you venture into this one yes there's uh, you know it, this, if, you, if you compare it with the previous deck the previous steampunk that deck that i reviewed that one was simpler in terms of imagery was very much you know der derivative of the right away you could just pick it up this one has those elements too but this is i would say you know for a little more of an advanced reader or intermediate to advanced kind of a reader someone who has a firm grasp on the tarot stuff before you can and, and also steampunk uh stuff before you kind of get into it <clears throat> so just say you know this this one is not not for the beginners i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't give it to the beginners but this one because you know there's there's a lot that happens in one in this deck they have changed a lot of things around okay uh, first of all, they have changed uh, the suits to be airships, engines, submersibles, and leviathans. All right. So airships obviously is your swords, engines is your wands, submersibles is your cups, and leviathans will be your pentacles. All right. The names of the uh, ooh, <laughs> major arcana have also changed. There is an entire sort of world building that has gone into creation of this deck. So you need to read through the book and understand what they are trying to sort of say, because the imagery will then convey all of that. OK, so there's a lot that you need to, uh, you know, you need to read this book before, you know, you can't just pick up that deck like in the previous uh steampunk deck you could just pick it up if you knew right away if you were an intermediate reader you could just pick it up you don't need to read the book but this one you have to read the book intermediate or, or beginner or whatever 
<laughs> just go through it because otherwise you'll be like huh i mean you can actually i i guess no one is stopping you from just picking up the deck and starting to read with it but then you'll find some terms very confusing and you'll be like what's going on here right so it's it's always a good idea see you have airships are swords engines are wands submersibles are cups leviathans are pentacles and then you have yeah even the court cards are named differently you have the messenger is the page navigator is the knight lady is the queen and captain is the king so if if you know they do the, the terms do have uh what do you say are, are in keeping with the thoughts of what the court card is or what the suit is uh and and again within the world that they have built here so you need to understand the language before you get into it okay <coughs> 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 and they have really gone into a lot of detail so and as you can see they have really 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 gone into a lot of detail so they have the, the deck creators john and caitlin matthews have really put their heart and soul into creating this particular deck and coming coming up with all the different uh you know aspects of it so it's not just you know random nothing even in the imagery or in, in the whole build of this entire deck nothing is random okay so there's a lot in here so spend some time take the time spend the, spend the time going through it <clears throat> okay you'll be the wiser <laughs> for it now here's how it looks like for each of the decks uh each of the cards sorry in, in the book you have the little black and white card picture, the card name, a little write-up, and then you have the gate of opportunity. Uh, so you can see it's got the upright and the reverse sort of, uh, you know, let me hold it up a little bit. You can see, you know, this little triangle symbol pointing up, pointing down. So you can look and see, you know, this talks about maybe the upright maybe, and the reverse sort of, you know, what will happen, uh, you know, when this card comes up upright and reverse. Now, there is a spread, which is nice, but doesn't always happen with all the cards. So, you know, then you have gear change, then you have blockages to clear. So these are different aspects of the meaning. So let's go back and see what they're all about. Here you go. Hmm? The gate of opportunity. What gift does this card offer me now? What dangers attend it? What might I be? missing this gear change is is about what changes are involved how can i get into gear for them how can i compensate for change and balance <clears throat> myself where are my gears slipping and blockages to clear what is stuck or blocked what am i missing or avoiding how can i clear the way forward so there's see this this is beautiful you know within the language of this world the steampunk world you get three different ways to look at that same card so here the gate of opportunity is going to especially say with the apprentice or the fool card you see you know what opportunities present themselves how you can handle them uh, both upright and reverse if there's a change uh, in the air how do you tackle it upright and reverse and if there are blockages that you need to clear and this card shows up what how do you handle it upright and reverse isn't that cool and then you have steampunk wisdom which is like very nicely <laughs> curved text here and you have some excellent sort of advice there don't be afraid of making mistakes for this is the edge where experience grows what possibilities are calling you to follow right so with this you know you you get into each card so this is like you know you're really getting into the card here right it's beautiful so then you have it looks like major arcanas all have spreads yeah very interesting which is nice because let's say oh yeah see this number 13 which is your death card right 
that is all about change getting rid of the old bringing in the new right now this is also the picture on the cover of the book <laughs> the spring heel jack now change so now this spread again see spring heel jacks clearance spread hmm? what needs to be cleared away why have i been keeping it what happens if i hang on and what can appear in the space it leaves such a simple beautiful spread that also captures the ethos of the card right brilliant i just you know this this is why i love this deck uh, you know a little bit more than the previous one because you know this one opens it up right and these spreads you can use with all your other decks as well it's not like you have to use it only with this one this is like this is the death card clear and spread so you you understand what needs to be cleared away why and you know what will appear you know when it leaves so brilliant <laughs> wow look at that so you have that going for all the major arcana now let's look at the minors now for the minors again <clears throat> you get the card image this is now one page right you have a little write-up about that then you have personal lifestyle interaction and impact and then you have the steampunk wisdom this is common for all the cards now let's see what this personal lifestyle and all this is all about let's see where are we here you go personal lifestyle what is the mainspring of my own motivation? What mood colors my life? How does my attitude shift the focus? How am I sabotaging myself? So this is like if you're reading for yourself, then this will come into play. Interactions. So when I guess when you're talking about relationships with other people and you're doing the reading, then you have what am I giving or receiving in relationships with individuals? What dynamic is affecting or skewing our interaction? What increases or reduces communication? Where am I failing to meet the other person? Right? And then you have the third one, which is impact. So when you're reading for situations, right? How do events affect others? What is going on around me that I'm experiencing or I'm a part of? How do my choices change the world or impact the community? What systemic changes are afoot? Right? So th there's stuff for the code card as well. We come back when we <laughs> when we when we get to that. But see again now the cards you can see like if you're doing a personal reading, if you're doing a reading, uh, you know related to relationships, both upright and reverse again, both are given, and then situational readings. So if you're looking at the impact of this card in that situation or that situation, the impact, whatever, you have this. So you have different aspects, right, that you can look at. And this goes on for, and you have, of course, a little write-up about what that uh, suit is all about. <clears throat> so, very nice. And when we come to the court cards, you have a different uh, sort of, you know, again, three different aspects. You have people, processes, and events. So, let's go back here. People, who is this person in my life? What aspects of myself are manifesting or activated? What characteristics are shaping things? Where am I not being true to myself? So if you're reading this card as a person, both upright and reverse, what are the different things that come into play here? Now processes, what action or behavior is donated, uh, denoted? <laughs> what kind of process am I undergoing? What accelerates or delays the changes? So if let's say the court card comes in to talk about you know things that are happening you, you know what what's going on this is the this is the aspect that you're going to look at and events again situations right how does this manifest how will i recognize this what constellates as a result what events is my question caught up with so then you read this and then of course you have the steampunk wisdom so it's brilliant right they have really 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 gotten into the card and the energy and you know come up with all this so this is not something that is done lightly this is something that has come through with a lot of hard work study patience effort all of that and 
once the card meanings are done you come to the blueprints <laughs> very nice which is the spreads again i love this idea it's one of my pet peeves that you know when spreads are given right at the beginning and you know, i'm like how does that make sense so I love this book again, obviously, because these spreads are given after the card meaning. And you have different spreads here. You have the control panel spread. And you have the example also, which is nice. Then you have the steam goggle spread. <laughs> Very nice. With the sample reading. Keys of wisdom spread. With sample reading. Cosmic Blueprint spread with the sample reading. Very nice. But the sample reading doesn't, you know, none of these sample readings I feel have reverse cards, which is interesting. Hmm. Anyway, but the card meanings are given for those of you who do use reverse cards. So, you know, just saying. Hmm fate destiny free will so they talk about all these interesting things interpreting the card useful pointers navigating with questions as coordinates handling reversals thank you enhancing and rectifying cards <clears throat> reading for yourself and others and a whole bunch of resources wow and you get to know a little bit about John Matthews, Caitlin Matthews, and Wilkingen. Brilliant. And, you know, a little bit about the publisher, Tuttle. Wow. Just wow, okay? This little 160-page book is actually a treasure trove. Just saying, anybody working with this deck needs to definitely go through this book. Take your time with this. Okay. So now let's look at the card. Okay. So let's begin with the flip through. As I've mentioned earlier, the card names have changed, but uh, the numbers are still the same. So, you know, for the major arcana, you can recognize them by the numbers and make that connection if just picking this deck up and looking at it. Okay. Oh, yeah. And let's take a moment to appreciate how reversible the card back is. So, <laughs> again, full marks. <laughs> and the card stock is, is a little bit on the thicker side, which is nice. And I like the laminated sort of uh, coating. Again, makes it very easy to shuffle and right out of the box, I was shuffling and playing with this deck. So, you know, good. Full marks there too. <laughs> Day Ex Machina, isn't that what it says over there? Yeah. Gods of the Machine. <laughs> That's what it means. Priestess is the idiot. I like that. So mysterious. So the Hierophant becomes the Horror Lodger. Something like an astrologer, I guess. Lovers become explorers. Hermit becomes the inventor. These do 
change some bits of the ethos of the card i would say to some extent but but then again maybe not time machine ah it will who remembers this one who remembers this story hmm? i remember reading this story as a child justice becomes the brazen head mm-hmm. hanged man becomes the suspension tank very creative you have to admit yeah spring heel jack mm. 14 that's temperance it becomes the spirit gate 15 which is devil becomes cyborg stricken down now now 17 which is star becomes comet moon becomes the moon voyage gosh sun becomes the solarium <laughs> and judgment is the regeneration machine the world of course now is the cosmic blueprint okay. so now <clears throat> the suit of wands or engines interesting pipe <laughs> the navigator or the knight lady queen and the captain or king next up we have the suit of airships which is swords I'm sorry guys if you're hearing noises in the background my grandma upstairs doing her thing <laughs> okay all right the four of swords isn't that interesting i love this vibe see stuff happening in, in here right the reflections see there's definitely a whole lot of stuff going on in these card images you know i know it's just a very quick quick sort of flip through and i'm not really delving into it 
uh, because I want you, everybody, you know, forms their own sort of interpretations and own stories there. And there's so many here that if, if I start getting into each of the cards, you know, this video will go on for like, I don't know, five hours or something. <laughs> so, this is the messenger of airships, a page, right? Navigator, it's the knight, the lady, the queen, queen of swords, yeah, and captain of airships, which is the king of <clears throat> Ace of Submersibles. This is your cups, the sort of cups, right? So. Seven of Submersibles, which is your Seven of Cups, and then you have all this going on there. Mm. See, there's way too many stories here to be told. And to be honest, this this is a fantastic deck, uh, especially for uh, science fiction, fantasy sort of writers. Uh, not not the sword and sorcery fantasy writers, obviously, the more science fictiony, uh, you know sci-fi futuristic or whatever sort of writers that are out there who need inspiration occasionally and you know visually and stuff like that and this deck can be amazing for that sort of thing truly truly i just love this one the navigator of submersible and finally we come to leviathans or pentacles Alice in Wonderland vibe. other <laughs> uh, more sort of I would say more advanced more intricate more interesting you know more world building <laughs> sort of steampunk tarot deck gods of the machine uh, by John, John and Caitlin Matthews with illustrations by Will Kingan uh, I will totally recommend this deck for 
intermediate to advanced uh, users uh, of tarot, obviously users. <laughs> what am I saying, users? I will definitely, uh, you know, recommend this deck for people who have had uh, a, a bit of experience with the right away who are comfortable exploring other decks. Maybe you've explored other decks before you come to this one. Those of you who are very, 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 very into the steampunk or sci-fi sort of genre and you, you understand its elements and you are also into tarot, understand what it is all about. And then you want to pick up this deck and work with it. And there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of reading that you need to do sort of, you know, gearing up before you work with this deck. So this deck requires a lot of work <laughs> before you can start playing with it. And again, if you are an experienced tarot reader, I wouldn't obviously prevent you from playing with it uh, before you read the book. But if you read it, you you know, that will be that much more enhanced, obviously. So uh, that's why I will not recommend this deck for beginners, right? Uh, <laughs> still, so if, if you're a beginner and you want to go uh, do a steampunk, uh, you know, you want to play with a steampunk tarot deck, then I will recommend the earlier one, the, the Barbara... Uh, yeah, Barbara Moore one. Uh, I'll put the link up top. You can go check that out. I've so that's the deck you could you could start with. But this is the one you come, uh, you know, once you have done a lot of, you know, spent a lot of time with the cards and stuff like that. So what what about you? Do you have this deck? What are your experiences with it? And if you are, are you now intrigued and want to get your copy of this deck if you don't have it already? If you do want to buy it, please use the link uh, that I have provided in the description of this video to go buy the deck. It's an affiliate link. Uh, I just get a tiny, tiny sort of commission from it and you get the deck at no extra cost. Obviously, Amazon is great like that. And, uh, you know, so please support me that way so I can keep buying more decks <laughs> and so I can do more interesting reviews for you guys. And uh, if you are not following me on the social media things, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I'm on all these places. The links are in the description. You can follow me there. And if you if you're really uh, into, uh, you know, YouTube, you please, please, please. I will really appreciate it. Give this video a like if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to me. Uh, click the notification bell so you know every time I put up a new video you'll be uh, sort of notified and yeah that's pretty much kind of it so you know I will uh, you know talk and talk to me what are your experiences with this deck if you have played with it and so forth so uh, I will I will really appreciate hearing it and yes of course if you have any suggestions if you have any ideas if you have any thoughts for new videos and so forth please put that in the comments or just email me whatever works for you yes if you want a private reading for yourself a personalized reading just for you based on specific topics you want me to use this deck sure just let me know <laughs> when you book the reading and i will do that and thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and i will see you again in my next video until then Stay good, be good, and play with your cards. Bye now.